Let's take a quick look today at what you will need to make some simple modifications to an out of the jar sauce. I do like this Classico roasted garlic. I also like the Classico four cheese. The four cheese is what's currently cooking. So I use one small jar and I use one small jar of diced tomatoes. This is a key ingredient right here, okay? You gotta have some ground beef. You gotta get that ground beef in there you're gonna chop up an onion, white, red, whichever one you like. Um, you know, the reds and the yellows are a little bit sweeter. The white seems to give it a little bit more punch, but it doesn't matter. Chop up an onion or two, throw it in with the meat. Also put a sprinkle of diced garlic in with this. I put a spoonful of diced garlic in with my sauce here. I put some butter in here. I put some bacon grease. I put some salt pepper, seasoning salt, light seasoning salt, a little bit of garlic salt, and um, that's about it there, you know. This is, my, this is my goodies right here. Salt, pepper, seasoning salt, sea salt, garlic salt, diced tomatoes, and the Classico. You could use ragu, you could use pregu, whatever you like. Prego, pregu, prega, prega boo boo, okay. But this, when you let this meat brown up with the onion and the garlic in there, put it in here with this sauce, you're gonna put it on low. I have it on close to medium right now because I want it to heat up. And then I'm gonna turn it down to in between on and low. And boy, I'm just gonna let it cook. I'm gonna let this cook until about four o'clock this afternoon before I dig into it, okay? When people taste this, they're gonna go, oh, wow, this is good. Did you make this sauce? This is sauce comes out of a jar, okay? If you like it spicy, you could put some Tabasco sauce in there, or some Tapatio, um, Sriracha, whichever you like, they all have a little bit different flavor. Um, the Tapatio seems to taste the best, but don't overdo it because you will taste it. Um, eh, you'll be fine, you know, you'll love this. People will taste this, let's put it over some angel hair, uh, the little uh, rigatonis that come all pressed up with the cheese and meat inside of them, whatever you like. Man, this is quick and easy and it tastes phenomenal for just a quick little basic modification to an out-of-the-jar sauce. Good luck, y'all.